Hello, my name is Kelly Lee. Today I'll be showing you how to make a simple flower. To start, you're going to need you're going to need some materials. You you need the wire, which comes in about this long. You might need 20 to 24 gauge wire. Right now, what I'm using is tw is 24, I think. They come in colors of, of red or silver, gold, blue. The most popular colors right now seem to be silver and gold. As well as that, you need pipes. They can be anything circular. You can buy specialized sets at, online, but really anything circular will do. And then you need tape, floral tape. You can get at any craft store. It's water soluble, but don't put it in water. And then you need these flower pistols, and they come in different colors, different shapes, different th different styles. They'll come in a bunch, and you can only get these online, or sometimes you'll find them odd places. As well as that, you'll need nylon string. This string can bind to itself, so if you wrap it around something, it'll stick and not unravel. You'll also need a stem. It comes in about double the size. If it's too long, you have to you may have to cut it in half. You'll also need a pair of scissors and pliers. For pliers, you can have special types of just to twist the metal and types to cut the metal. This type has both of it, which is really great because you can use the top part to twist the metal and the bottom part is for cutting the metal. These are rather common, you can find them anywhere. Finally, what we need is a nylon fabric. They come in solid colors or tie-dye, and you can buy them online. So today we're just going to be making a three-petal flower. First off, you need to take a wire and wrap the end around a pipe. Leave, leave about one centimeter of wire at both ends and then use, use the top part of the pliers to, to twist. Twist right until up to the base to make a tight circle, but not too hard so that the wire snaps. When you're done, cut off the excess metal. This is to conserve materials. Once you're done, you should have a metal loop about this shape. Afterwards, you need to take the fabric and stretch it out across your fingers like so. Take the metal loop and engulf the whole metal loop in fabric. Make sure there are no holes. Try to use the end of the fabric instead of the middle to conserve material as said. This time, now take the string, wrap it around, wrap it around tightly enough for the fabric to stay and Then cut, cut or pull it off. Use the scissors to cut off the excess material. Leaving, you should leave only about this much. Now I've made a few petals already, so we're just gonna we're, just, we're gonna use these to assemble the flower. Take about two or three pistols, depending on personal preference and flower type, and wrap, and then put the ends to the end of the step of the stem, and use a nylon string to wrap it to wrap to wrap it around and secure it to the stem. Afterwards. Put on the petals one by one. You can't put them all, all on at once or, or it will fall apart too easily. So one by one, secure, secure it to the stem, wrap, it around, wrap the string around a few times, and then add the second petal. Make sure to match up, make sure to match up the place where the string with, where the string was attached to the petal here in purple brown to where the string is on, on the stem. That way, It'll give a more neater, more uniform appearance. (laughs) 
Also, in regard to place, if you're placing petals, remember to place it in such a way so that the whole thing will kind of look like this. Instead of just placing it flat against the stem. Finally, cut the string or snap it off. And then you have to tape it. Starting at the very top, use a tape and pull it tight enough to cover the to, to cover it. The tape is not very sticky and it will have difficulty sticking to itself. I personally find this the hardest part of the of the whole fire making thing. Wrap it around the stem and just enough just like low enough on the stem to secure the petals about this far down. And you're done. Remember not to shape the petals until the very end. Or it will be hard to put on. So now at the very end you can shape it into whatever type you want. Sometimes the same the same amount of petals in the same thing when shaped differently can turn out to be different flowers.